Today we're going to look at common events with RAD numeric up-down. RAD numeric up-down as part of the Telerink RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. RAD numeric up-down inherits several common events that can be used to improve the functionality of the control. In this video we'll take a brief look at the value changed event and how to implement it into your application. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So in the first video of this series, we talked about RAD numeric up-down. We talked about a lot of different properties. So we talked about the maximum property, we talked about the minimum property, small change, large change, auto reverse, is editable, and we created this demo application. And if I go ahead and I run this demo application, then you can kind of see it live. So we have currency up here at the top and then just a numerical input here and then we have percentage listed here. And of course I made these buttons a little large where you could actually see it on the screen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add an event handler for value changed to one of these just so you can see how to implement that inside of your own application. So we'll just go ahead again and we'll close out of the application that we were currently in and we'll just add in a value changed event and we're going to create a new event handler. So underneath our main page.xaml we have main page.xaml.cs and let's go ahead and let's add this inside of a message box. So we go message box dot show and then we'll do a string dot format. Let's go ahead and give it the new value, which this may be helpful for some. You may need to know what the new value is. Comparing that against the old value. And I'll just put a one in here. And we'll close that and we'll go E dot. And then you see we have a new value. So we'll take that and then an E dot and then old value. So all I've added here is just a message box dot show with the string dot format showing you the new value and the old value which comes from our E which is inside of Telerik dot windows dot controls dot rad range base value changed event args. And if we go ahead and we run the application, this value will actually fire as our application begins. So let's go ahead and we'll see that at the very beginning. So I'm going to run the application. So there we see we see the new value set to 10 because I'm setting that in XAML. The old value is set to 0. We click OK. Of course, there we see our 10. We can go up if we wanted to. We can see new value 15, old value 10. Then we can go up again, new value 20, old value 15. So what we just saw was one of the most common events that's used with RAD numeric up down. But there are other events that you can play around with as well. Events such as binding validate, validation error to got focus, key down, key up. These are events that you're already used to. Other events that you're used to such as loaded event lost focus or a mouse in or mouse leave and there's also a size changed that's inherited from a system.windows.framework element so in this short video this is basically just to make you become aware of all the different events that's available with rad numeric up down again i would like to thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you.